burp. Um, Merry oh yeah. Christmas. Merry Christmas. It actually is. We have nine minutes left in Christmas. On, oh, um, on the East Coast, anyway. And it's just enough time to show what Christmas is all about. It's about Snatcher and Gillian's apartment. Yeah. We're uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time here, don't worry. But, um... We are going to have some hot dogs there. so bad. <laughs> Ugh. They don't do hot dogs on Christmas, really. Not even in the South. Really? No. <laughs> This is a little, uh, little Kojima fourth wall breaking nonsense here. <laughs> I say the same thing when I come home from work every day. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> wow, you mean I have a PlayStation 3 also? I must like video games. And my car's like, please tone it down, diabetes. <laughs> I'm, I have amnesia. <laughs> Did I mention that? <laughs> oh, we're playing a video game. Yeesh. To enter your apartment. <laughs> Oh, it's no Psycho Mantis, but... And th this music's a little mysterious for entering the apartment, too, but... Whatever. Yeah, seriously, are you going to encounter something bad? My living room! <gasps> no! It oh. oh. He has a gingerbread house and a very large bottle of whiskey. <laughs> oh my god, he does! <laughs> huge bottle of whiskey! <laughs> Jesus! And a bed made all out of celery. <laughs> Metal Gear's really nosy about it, but he's not, uh, asking. Yeah. Gillian is living the life. <laughs> he's quite the bachelor. I, too, wish I had a giant calculator mounted on my wall. Metal only notices the photograph, which is... Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness, they're not gonna... Alright, they're gonna make me look at the photo. <laughs> Snatcher. <laughs> it's Jamie at the Olympics with... Uh, oh, there's a teddy bear behind you! <laughs> That's what you went at the Olympics? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the wife you are separated from. <laughs> After is... the Olympic incident of 2012, we had to dispense of the medals and go with teddy bears instead. Seed, I want you to investigate your wife! <laughs> oh, I should really be reading the text. That's okay. Alright, so, this is Jamie, uh, who's your amnesiac wife. They both lost their memories as of, uh, three years ago. There's an Olympic sport for that? Apparently there is. 39344. Uh, I think I missed a four there. All right. I wouldn't count on Gillian or his wife remembering that, right? <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, you know. So let's see. We. Yeah. We. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's use the video. F I mean, your your uh, your funeral there, Seed. All right. Let's put a hot pocket in there. Is that you, Gillian? I was just getting to sleep. Aww. <laughs> well, that's this is a good way to start the conversation, I think. <laughs> this is a good way to start a porno. <laughs> just hang up. Look <laughs> <laughs> Look at these options. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is really starting to look like a porno to me. <laughs> Minus the feelings and the job. <laughs> well, maybe not the job. Uh, this is mentioned in the Jordan fact file. Uh, snatchers do go after the wealthy and the, the prominent in society to take their place. Oh. Um, there's also an event called the witch hunts where people like basically like captured and like kill people and stuff to that they thought were snatchers but it was like a whole thing they were really killing other humans it's like a panic basically so snatcher was written by arthur miller yes mm. who oh little uh historical reference there for you what should we uh, ask about uh yeah, all right let's start off tame how about work oh, oh i wish you'd said God. that a little earlier come on beef <laughs> Hey, come on! Does it really have to be? Look, look at this dialogue that Blaustein wrote for us. <laughs> this is oh, shit, trashy romance it. novel lit right here. <laughs> Great detective work, Gillian. <laughs> I like how Metal Gear. He's doing this on Metal Gear's screen, basically. <laughs> All right, so this is. 
So the, in standard Hideo Kojima fashion, the uh, pathetic hero doesn't, you know, whatever. Right. How long does this go for? This is an important conversation. And there's the semicolon there. Please yeah. show me your clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is there no. an option for that? <laughs> no, we'll hang up. Um, <laughs> I scout on date. No possessions, then repeat the negligee request. <laughs> Basically. That's how yeah. it usually works with me. <laughs> exactly. So. Wait, she's carrying a child? She has a dream, basically. Or she uh, leaves a kid in a fire. Uh, she's a little fucked up, too. Mm -hmm. Tad. Just a little bit. It's kind of scary, too, that. Oh, she did blink. I thought she was just sort of staring soullessly at the. Yeah, it's about this time I pretend I'm in a tunnel and make the little crackly sounds. <laughs> so, um. My, uh. <laughs> 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 Who cares, Jamie? <laughs> there's, a, there's a there's an invention in 2047. She really opens up to you. Well, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. Uh, <laughs> call, don't call. <laughs> so there's an invention in 2047 called a dream quarter, and um, it lets you you know record your dreams and show them to people if you want. And that's Gillian's bathroom. I think we've seen enough of the apartment. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go meet Katrina Gibson. Who? Jean Jacques' daughter. Uh, Jean, all right, I'm sorry. Let me catch you up. We're hunting snatchers. They killed a guy, right? And his daughter. We're we're trying to find out why they killed him and what his like weird clues, like his search the house and the chess piece means. Mm. I wish, like honestly, like uh, you know, it was a little queer, like the note was, you know, <laughs> the, these little stupid things. Just like the chess piece says, okay, here's the deal with snatchers. So, right now this is our only lead. That and he ate buffalo three hours before he was killed. Yeah, that's what I remember the most. Well, let's look at look at the house. This house is perfectly symmetrical. Something's wrong. Yeah, it's got even got two chimneys. <laughs> yeah. What <do> <laughs> what the hell is that about? I want a fireplace in my living room and my bedroom, just in case. And why isn't the light on my left window turned on like the one on the right? Because John's dead. Oh. Well. Alright, so Katrina, uh, we have to see if she'll let us in. Enter the house with the turbo cycle. Alright, so we need to show her some proof of being a junker. And Metal Gear tells us exactly how. So there are no puzzles in this game. <laughs> they don't even give you any other options, like here's the game. <laughs> from behind the door. It looks perfect. Looks like a perfectly legitimate American Express card. Oh shit. I don't remember this. Huh. Let's solve this puzzle together. Oh. The fuck. correct answer is 3944-3. Alright, Gibson's age. Give or take another number. Uh, oh god. Is he 54, I think? Well, they give you a lot of lines there. Whoops. Did you have to use all of them? What did I do? Shit. Whoa. You're a real junker, <laughs> try did, did, did Katrina just go brrrr? Yes. Oh, fuck. What was it? Uh. Um, Alright, the daughter is 18. Is this where we do the thread interaction part of this? Yes. Wait. Here, let me look at your yes. screenshot, LP. Alright, oh. I got it. 55. In the original version, she actually just asked you her her measurements. Huh? Yeah. The idea is the puzzle here is you're supposed to use Jordan back at Junker HQ. You're supposed to enter her measurements. Yeah. Um. Oh. See, like the idea is like if you fail this puzzle, you have to go back to Junker headquarters and use Jordan. That's actually kind of why I looked it up earlier in the last video. You thought I was just dicking around, but... If only I knew. Now, I'll let you hand... I'll let you feel this one, Diabetes. She has a unique mark on her body. Do you remember what it is? Um... Do you have to spell it out, or do you have options? You have to spell it out. Damn. You made, a, you made a joke about it. That was, like, days ago. It was, like, three... <laughs> it's Christmas! I got... I'm there, Merry about... Christmas. 
Yes. Merry Christmas, it's here. Um, <laughs> it's heart shaped. Remember? <laughs> um, not really. Well, yes, it is. Hold on. She has a heart shaped birthmark on her inner thigh. Do you have to type out all of that? No. Oh, um, that's right. Now, they're stupid. I forgot. You have to say birthmark. Oh, Snatcher. Oh, well, I could have told you that. Well, why didn't you? Well, because I thought it was supposed to be more specific, like the heart. Well, so did I. Well, yeah, I you are, always you're pitch the, thing. You're the worst junker. There. I'm a junker in that, in the drug kind of way. I'm just kind of sad that I remember John Shot Gibson's age. I was off by one year. Jesus. <laughs> All right, now she's asking what shape it is. And that's okay, I know this one. <laughs> is it the shape of your father's head, which I have right here? <laughs> I just throw the head at the door. <laughs> and that is on her thigh. You keep in mind that she's testing you on shit that's in a public database, but whatever. Hmm. I'm very sorry about all of that. I'm Katrina Gibson, Sean's daughter. I'm I'm so sorry. What's the matter, Mr. Steed? I'm very sorry, Katrina. It's my fault your father's dead. Gillian. No, if I could have gotten there just a little sooner, your father might still be alive. Oh, Mr. Steed, I appreciate your feelings, but I was always ready for the worst with my father. Every day as I watched him leave for work, will it be today, tomorrow, I knew it was a dangerous job. Katrina, that's... Well, I'm a junker's daughter. Do you think you'll be all right by yourself? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, I don't think I have any tears left. Katrina, are you sure? Okay, Junker. You've got work to do, right? Keep yourself busy. That's the best way to take your mind off of it. Okay, Katrina. You're probably right. I'll appreciate any help you can give me on this investigation. All right, um, Katrina Gibson is voiced by Lynn Fusener, who is one of the, I think the only member of the cast who is actually not a voice actor. Yeah. Don't know if you can tell. Um, I guess she's not so bad. Funnily enough, uh, back in the day, they used to record, well, they used to do voice acting recording, and I think maybe they still do in every actor at their own booth, you know? Yeah. They couldn't, Konami of America really couldn't afford that, so they had all the actors in the same room for Snatcher, but it actually kind of worked out well in all their interviews, because they said, like, they could sort of act off each other and stuff. Yeah, I'm actually surprised people don't do that more. I think nowadays they do. I see, like, in cartoons and shit, and yeah. they do do it. Well, they're at least in the same general vicinity. Right, but Jeff Lupinen and Lucy Child specifically state in an interview it was unusual that Konami had them all do it in one room, but it actually helped, so... Interesting. Oh, I, I, I swear to God, I wasn't looking for a funny thing when I did look Katrina. Like, her fucking father just died. <laughs> I mean, and she's 18. Well, she said she doesn't have any more tears left, so why not? Yeah, she, she got over that. Everybody's getting over Gibson really quick. I mean, he was kind of an asshole, honestly. Let's see if uh, she knows anything. Do you think she knows anything about any of these things? Um, maybe the chess piece? Alright. And then you go, Actually, checkmate, and then grab her. <laughs> <laughs> Not till police knots. Um. <laughs> uh. Alright, fuck this. Let's just do what I know to do here. Let's see. So there's a. Let's see. Antiques. So let's go to Gibson Study because. That's probably where we're going to figure out, oh, she's following us, where uh, there's more about Snatchers. Okay. Ask her about the glass that's overflowing with butter in the foreground there. What the hell is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a chess set here. I can really tell this is the year uh, 2047 because of that computer in the background. I mean, just look at the futuristicness. Hey, look, that, uh, we've got, we found the chess set that that piece belongs to. 
no. Let's see. And there's a personal computer that you were making fun of. Well, come on, 2047. Look at That's that. That's the best they could do. Is the PC-68, uh, Genesis? <laughs> Is that a oh. real computer? Oh, hideo. <laughs> yeah, the MSX version, it's an MSX. I think it's still, like, a PC-68, though, in the PlayStation 1. But I, I can't read any of the PlayStation 1, so... They went through 68 models, and that's their latest and greatest. Oops. Uh... Do something. You know, I'm just gonna take a save state right now, by the way. Just real quick, if you don't sure. mind. Sure. Well, that's... okay. We're just gonna save this state as Katrina. Okay. Is this where you have a very wide array of dialogue trees that only one way leads to the optimal outcome? Well... <laughs> Try waving your hand in front of her saying it. <laughs> her father just died! <laughs> Might help you forget about your decapitated dad. <laughs> this is really Who awesome. I saw just about an hour ago bleeding out of his neck. And now my favorite. Wow. Get out! And I thought you were such a gentleman. Don't come back either. All right. So now, if if you do this, you get stuck outside of. You can't go back in for like fifty or so turns. I don't know what the actual number is, but turns. Yeah, you have to go like go do other stuff until Ugh. she forgives you, basically. So we're just gonna pretend none of that happened, and uh, act completely professional. Yeah. Oh, maybe look. If you maybe if you ask instead of persuade, she'll be more receptive. Well, she's, she's pretty receptive. She's helping us out. She just doesn't know anything. Or does she? <gasps> I, I don't know. Oh, that says disc. Okay. Um, uh -oh. <laughs> let's see. By the way, Snatcher has these annoying little sound effects everywhere. Like, hey, that's mysterious. All right. Are you ready to learn a little bit about Snatchers? I have got my glasses on and my notepad out. Let's see what's on this disc, then. A five-inch floppy? That must have terabytes of data. Oh, yeah. What do you, yes, Gillian. Thank you. <laughs> but actually, look. That's the same exclamation point he used when he said, I must have you. <laughs> There's got to be a connection. See? The pattern. If you remember those five and a quarter inch discs, how they had that, like, circle and the... Oh, yeah. 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 That's oh. what Gibson was talking about. Oh. So I was a little off. Well, I don't know. Who the hell would do that? Why not just say use the disc? <laughs> it's a small piece of paper. I mean, he could have used the other side, I guess. Snatcher investigation file. Why do Snatchers appear in the winter? Why are Snatchers nocturnal? I believe I have found the answer to these questions. Snatchers' vampire-like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. The reason they dislike sunlight is because of their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis of their artificial skin leading to a form of skin cancer with the characteristics of melanoma. In other words, what we call simple sunburn is fatal to them. This relationship between ultraviolet rays and their artificial skin should give us a way to track them down. It should take at least six more months before they can develop a form of skin which overcomes this defect. These conclusions suggest several useful methods for locating and identifying snatchers. 1. Investigate skin condition. Check for any evidence of melanoma. 2. Check for odor. Cancer cells secrete a unique foul odor. 3. The presence of pollen. 
Snatchers are believed to hide in areas plentiful in Snow 9, a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow 9 can always be detected in places they appear. Snow 9 is an allergen, causing throat pain and sneezing. Four, possession of sunscreen. In order to protect their skin from ultraviolet rays, snatchers use sunscreen even in the dead of winter. This is due to sunscreen's ability to block ultraviolet rays. Of these techniques, one in four should prove particularly useful. In addition, besides working to prevent this skin cancer, snatchers maintain facilities for treating artificial skin which has actually become cancerous. I have succeeded in identifying the hospital where this is performed. P.S. Watch out for a bounty hunter named Random Hajil. So we found Gibson's blog. This is a little too much like the twist and signs.